what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On Friday, NYPD officers showed up at the home of Derek Ingram to arrest him for assaulting a police officer. Derek, the founder of the social advocacy group Warriors in the Garden, refused to let the cops enter without a warrant. He streamed the standoff on Instagram Live, drawing a crowd of about 100 protesters to the streets. The officers called off the arrest and retreated after six hours, eliciting outrage from the city police unions. Derek then turned himself in to the NYPD's Midtown North Precinct on Saturday morning. He was joined by a large crowd of protesters who marched to the precinct with him to show support. An NYPD spokesperson said that Derek was booked on a charge of second degree assault in connection with the June 14th incident during a protest in Midtown Manhattan. Derek's group claims he was accused of assaulting a police officer by, get this fam, dun, 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 using a bullhorn to shout in her ear. That's it, fam. Derek maintained his innocence and accused police of unfairly targeting him for his advocacy. I don't blame you, Derek because that's all they're doing. They're just sitting around trying to figure out any little way to deny Americans their civil liberties. Yeah, that's what they're doing. See, had this been the 1960s, Derek could have easily found himself dead because you didn't have social media. So they could have went on, went in on Derek in the middle of the night, middle of the day or whatever, just while nobody's paying attention and not only executed a warrant, but executed him. Easily just go in there and do you. Nobody knows what's going on. See, they retreated because they had all those eyeballs on them. Trust you me, if those eyeballs were not on them, they probably would have kicked the door in and went in there and totally violated him. See, that is one good thing about social media. It, it puts eyeballs on criminal activity. Yeah, and a lot of crim criminal activity come from police officers. Oh yeah, this is what I want to know, fam. This is the $63 million question. Is it 63 million or 63,000? I think it's 63,000. Okay, we'll go with 63 million though, because this is important. How is it that they can charge Derek Ingram for assaulting a police officer and they don't have enough evidence for a warrant. Why would they just show up there without a warrant? Because they're lawless. Fam, these people do not follow their own law. They don't like following the rules. They feel like they're different from you and I. If you want the people to respect the law, at the very least, the people who are supposed to be enforcing the law should be following the law. This is simple. This is elementary. This is rudimentary. Come on, fam. I mean, if I'm wrong, let me know. The police beat people, tear gas them, and they arrest 
this man for using a bullhorn. He hollered in her ear. He, he shouted in her ear. Such tender skin. No wonder they're shooting everybody. It's so tender. Jesus Christ. You got dirty cops being shown up for what they are. How is it, fam? How is it that they did not, did not have a warrant? How is it? You assault the police officer. That's a quick warrant, right? You go in there, talk to a judge. Judge, I need a warrant for such, such, such. Oh, he, he did what? I mean, that, that signature go like, pew. Automatic. You assault a police officer. So where is the evidence? That's what I want to know. There is none. Because I don't believe the man assaulted this woman. And then they wait. This happened way back in June, fam. Come on, family. We are in the month of August. On our way to the middle of August. You know they don't let nobody chill for weeks after assaulting a police officer. You could barely get away with chilling for a couple of hours. They will hunt you down. Now this is a leader. This is, this is not some anonymous person. This is the leader of an advocacy group. And they wait all this time to arrest him. I'll tell you what I suspect they were doing. Sitting around looking at his picture throwing darts. I can't stand that. What can we do? You know that there's a lot of them and they're going to be looking and they got phone, they got damn cameras everywhere. Uh, you know, uh, what, 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 what can we do? Drink more beers. Drink, drink some more shots of tequila. Hit a little bit more of that meth. Snort a little coke. Ah, oh, man. What can we do? Damn it. Man, you know what? We don't need a warrant. A, a, a judge is not going to sign the warrant anyway. I mean, they're not going to give us a warrant. I mean, we, we don't have any proof that he did anything and he really didn't do anything. I just don't like the guy. Okay, well, well let's just go and arrest him. We can't do that without a warrant. The judge will never get a warrant. We the police. Let's go arrest that now. That's how they show up there without a warrant. If you have probable cause, then the judge will give you a warrant. If you don't, the judge won't give you a warrant. Which leads me to believe that they didn't have probable cause. And I, I'm sure that it'll get thrown out. Not because the judge is going to automatically do the right thing, it is because there will be enough pressure and media attention put on this to see to it that old Derek get justice. Let me tell you something, fam. I've been to a number of protests and the only people I've seen causing problems are the police. The only people I've seen rioting were the police. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?